What's going on everybody? Tim from Tierfon Orbital. Just wanted to do a quick part one of two video. This is going to be for two one-off customized hilts that are both from Nevin over at Space Junk Sabers. These both are going to the same client, so this will serve as a demo slash build video for the client as well as uh, just showing off some of my design process with both chassis and of course we'll put a blade in both hilts and do a demo uh, because I never need an excuse to put a blade in a lightsaber to swing it around and play with it so anyway without further ado let's get into it right so not the first time I have put an install into a Space Junk Savers hilt I think in my previous videos I do enough gushing over how much I absolutely love, love, love the hilts from Nevin. I cannot speak highly enough about Nevin as a sabersmith. Uh, I've gotten to know him uh, over the past few months as well, so he's just a great guy, super nice, uh, and uh, you know I'm. I'm um, fortunate that he put my name out there to some of his clients for a recommended installer. Uh, so I'm, I'm very, uh, very grateful for that. Uh, but I'm also, you know, I'm grateful because I get a chance to, to put my hands on so many of his hilts uh, it, during the install process. And, and man, they are, they're works of art, in my opinion. I mean, these are all one-off hilts that are all unique. You know, I've gotten to a place where in my collecting where these hilts of this caliber are, are what I really search for. I like Canon hilts by some of the mass produced companies like Corbanth and, and, and some of those, those places. And they're great hilts, but for me uh, as a collector, I really, really like having something that's one of a kind and unique and, and really shows off the you know, how talented the Sabersmith is. And, and these hilts from Nevin are, are just fantastic. So let's talk about the hilt really quick. Let's bring it up. So this is the hilt. Uh, Nevin is calling this the Force Unleashed Cannon Y Twist. It, in my opinion, it's a take on the Force, Force Unleashed, uh, like rogue style hilt, uh, but it's given Nevin's signature speeder bike grip uh, on the bottom here, this is that knurled grip that I love so much. It feels so good in the hand. And of course, the Canon Y name comes from this beautiful Canon Y clamp card and switch assembly that is on the hilt. I've been looking for one of these forever, for one of my personal builds. Uh, these are just so hard to come by nowadays. Uh, whereas, you know, like a year, even, you know, two years ago, these were really easy to find. It's not that they're super hard to find, they're just very expensive nowadays. I think like a switch assembly like this is, is you know, upwards of $100, you know, even $150 for just the switch assembly with the latch. Now there are replica switch assemblies uh, that a, a bunch of Etsy sellers, not a bunch, but I think there's one or two that offer replica switch assemblies, but to have this latch uh, as part of the switch assembly to find it, a kit like that is, is super hard. But anyway, let's, so let's talk about the hilt, right? So at the front, coming up from the bottom, we have a beautiful, beautiful pommel. This pommel looks to be like from a Corbanth uh, Rogue, uh, but it's been, it looks like it's been weathered, obviously. It's probably was uh, like chromed. It looks like it may have been a chrome brass part because you can, that's the only way you can really get that 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 brass that you know that yellow brass color uh, out of that anyway so we've got a d-ring here we've got some really really nice steel accent uh, greeblies around the bottom or the top of the pommel but underneath this is just a really cool I, I don't know where this is from and this is part of the reason why I really love Nevin's hilt you, I, I don't know where he gets his parts from um, which is it's just so great um, because it's unique, you know? Uh, so some beautiful, beautiful brass ring around that pommel. Here's that knurled grip that I love so much. Canon Y 
uh, switch assembly, making our way up. This is, I, I'm pretty sure this is from a Corbanth Rogue, um, but I could be wrong. I, I, I don't know, I don't know where it is, but it has, it definitely has that look of the Rogue Mark II. And, and that's pretty much it, right? I mean, it's just an absolutely beautiful hilt. I love this hilt. I love it. But, you know, again, every, every single hilt that I put my hands on from Nevin is just fantastic. Do I sound like a Space Drunk Sabres fanboy? I probably do, because I am. So let's talk about how, we'll, we'll talk about the chassis first. So, so here's the chassis that I made for this build. As with the majority of my chassis, I do all of the prototyping in Shaper 3D and then I import it over here into Fusion. Um, so we had, so be, because this is a MHS V2 inner diameter on the grip, I had to do a little bit of a skinnier chassis. We have room for a 24 millimeter speaker. I put a Smuggler's Outpost speaker in this one, 24 millimeter. Did my usual Tierfond Orbital and Boss along the side. I was able to get some light greebly work along the top here. There just wasn't enough room along the sides because this is where I do some of my wire management. Uh, to get my speaker con conductors and the negative conductor up through the chassis. But I was able to put like some venting here, some uh, oblong greebly holes. This is where the profi board sits. Around the back here, we do have room for a kill switch. So with this particular chassis, I did print it off in translucent resin, okay? And then I masked off this area here. I did mask off the Greedleys as well. So I masked it off, did one pass with Tamiya matte black spray, and then I came back and did a buff and rub along the whole thing and then unmasked these Greedleys and then unmasked this. Because it was printed in translucent resin, this will serve as a lens or a window and I have some millimeter and a half NeoPixel strip that I put inside of here for some blinkies on the chassis. And I'll show that when we go over how to use the hilt. And that's it. It's a stationary chassis. It is secured to the rest of the, the top of the hilt with a set screw. And, and that's it, right? So let's come down. We will go over how to use the hilt. So you unscrew your grip. I already have a battery in here, but let's take that out for demo purposes. Spring side is your negative. Spring is towards the speaker. So you want to take the flat part of your battery, place it in the battery tray. It was already on. If it's not, if it's not on, you want to hit your kill switch. There's those NeoPixels that I mentioned that I, you know, kind of baked into the chassis so you get shine through. Each font has a different animation. on those NeoPixels, right? So once you're in a round back, we've got plenty of room to get your profi board out if need be. It will flip up or you can just leave it in, use a 90 degree connector or you can slide your USB, sorry, you, your SD card out if need be, but you will need to remove the battery to do that, okay? So let's come down, put your grip on, screw it in and you're ready to go. I mean, for, for some reason, this grip, it's just like the, one of the best, best feeling grips I've ever held. It's, it's knurled. It feels like a speeder bike hilt because I'm, you know, because I'm a Cranhorn guy. <laughs> I love the feeling of that. It's, it just feels so good. I can't, cannot speak highly enough of that grip. So that's pretty much it. So the bottom, so I'll talk about this switch assembly. So the clamp card does slide out, okay? And I do have two low profile brass tactile switches underneath this clamp card. That's another reason why I really, really love these Canon Y switch assembly units because I can wire them up to actually be usable. So I don't have to like drill a hole in the clamp card and have tacks sticking up out of it. So I make these usable you know i just i love the look of these clamp cards so if anybody knows someone who has these please reach out to me because I, i'm i'm desperately searching for them they're they're rare even on ebay they're hard to find so let me know or if you if you have a source let me know so bottom is your main top is your aux 
I will, let's talk about putting, how to put a blade in. So there is a red thumb screw, knurled thumb screw up here. Unfortunately, because of the clearance with the PCB emitter, you, this cannot be utilized as a blade retention. There is a set screw that's holding in that blade PCB, but we, it was too high to use this as a blade retention screw. So I did pop a hole above this. It's a brass set screw that will serve as the blade retention, right? So let's put a blade in it. You wanna make sure you're not jamming your blade down onto those pins, just kinda of let them rest on it. And then you tighten your set screw. Uh-oh, and you're ready to go. Twist to activate and deactivate is on. I put a bunch of fonts on here. So each one, each font's got its own blade config. They're all different colors, okay? I'll put the config on the SD card. There's a bunch of other fonts on the SD card as well, but as the client did request that I, I set this up ready to go, uh, so they did not have to fiddle with the config that much at all. So this is, this is ready to go. It's got a bunch of fonts ready for you. Let's see what else we got on here. I think I tried to stick with a lot of the old, a lot of the old uh, original trilogy fonts, but there's all kinds of stuff on here. This is a uh, orbital font from Harry Solo. I always put that on my builds. God, such a great help. So that's pretty much it, right? It nice quick, quick rundown on this particular hilt this is going to be one of two videos i've got another one following up this one with the second space junk hilt that i finished uh, a few days ago so as soon as i can get these edited and dropped uh, they will be released to the client uh, i will be getting this in the mail in the next coming days thank you very much for trusting me with your install I really, really appreciate it. To the viewers, everybody, thank you very much for the support. Um, and thank you for watching. And with that being said, may the force be with you. Always.